Hello there and welcome to episode 4 of a series on this channel where I analyse the plot holes, mistakes and just general weirdness in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And without any more talking, it's Morphin Time! By which I mean I'm gonna, st I'm gonna start doing the video now. Episode 4 is entitled A Pressing Engagement and it begins at the Angel Grove Youth Centre where Jason the Red Ranger is trying to break a bench pressing record. Now Ernie who works at the Youth Centre is sitting behind Jason doing the counting but he's not doing a great job because this happens. What number am I at? Thousand then. Uh oh. I lost count. Can you start again? Seriously, Jason has to start again because Ernie just randomly forgets the number. Also, there were like 20 other people standing there who were all counting along. Did they also all just forget the number? The episode then cuts to Rita on her moon base. Now she has seen Jason fail the bench press record and she decides that he's weak when he's alone. So she makes a plan to send some monster down later to separate him from the other rangers. We cut back down to the youth center and Jason is having another go at the record. Whoa, he's already up to like a thousand again? This guy can bench press like 2,000 times in the space of 10 minutes? Is that because of his power range abilities? Because if it is, he should probably not be doing that in public. It's meant to be a secret. Anyway, Jason again fails to get the record because Kimberly blows a huge bubble with her bubblegum and then Zack skateboards into the bubble. We then see Rita and her gang debating about which monster they should send down to Earth. They end up deciding on King Sphinx because he can use his wings to blow the other rangers away from Jason where he'll be weak and alone. Back at the youth center, Jason's really bummed out about not getting the bench press record and they sit around moping for a while. Zordon then sends a message to the rangers to let them know that Rita has sent down a monster to a nearby park. They immediately morph and they teleport right there. When the rangers get there they are met by Putties and King Sphinx and King Sphinx uses his wings to separate the rangers from Jason and by that I mean the wind is so strong it somehow teleports them all the way back to the youth center. Also side note, Kimberly was wearing shoes before but when she gets blown back to the youth center she is not. Did he blow her shoes off? Jason then has to fight the Sphinx on his own. The Sphinx teleports himself and Jason to a nearby quarry because every freaking fight in this show happens at this exact quarry. Here it is appearing in episode two and three. No explanation is given to why every time a fight happens it's at this quarry, aside from the fact that they obviously had no budget for another set. Anyway, it's at this point that Rita sends down her staff to grow both King Sphinx and Goldar to enormous heights and Jason still has to fight them alone. Now he does say something about how he wishes the other rangers were there but he seems to be forgetting that he can call upon a huge dinosaur robot at any time for specific situations exactly like this. Why is he rolling around on the floor? Call the freaking Zord you idiot. Back in Angel Grove we see that Zack and Kimberly have gone to tell Billy and Trini about the situation with Jason which just raises the question where the hell have they been this whole time? Did Zordon not call them to begin with? Like what are they doing? Anyway they all teleport to the command center and they talk to Zordon. Alpha 5 uses some computer stuff to locate Jason and they look at him on the viewing globe. It's at this point that Zordon tells the rangers about their power crystals. The crystals contain the essence of your morphing powers. Use them to find each other in any peril and with your zords to draw power from the very heart of the morphing grid. Zordon then sends the crystals to Jason via his sword. Now a lightning strike happens and for some reason they get shot into a nearby cliff. Jason immediately runs over to collect them from the rubble and when he finds them he says this. Power crystals! Way to go, Zordon! How the hell did Jason even know what these things were? Zordon has never mentioned them until like five seconds ago and Jason wasn't there for that. Also, after Jason uses the crystals to summon the other Power Rangers, he holds his crystal up in the air and calls upon his Zord, which is like implying he couldn't get his Zord without the crystal, even though in every other episode so far, they just call upon the Zords whenever the hell they want. Also, when they get in the Zords, we see the crystals function as a type of joystick. Now, if you look carefully in all the episodes before this one, those joysticks were already there. The crystals have been there the whole time. How did they not know about these things? So the rangers summon their zords and then they do some fighting and it's not really going that well and then they decide to turn the megazord back into the tank for like one second but then they turn back into the megazord and then they get the mega sword which they kill King Sphinx with and then Goldar teleports away because he's scared and they win. Hooray! A little while later we're back at the youth center. Jason eventually does get his bench pressing record and it's because all the team was there to help him and then some crazy stuff happens with Bulk and he gets cake on his face. Haha, <laughs> what an idiot. The end. 
So if we've learned anything from that episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, it's that those power crystal things are important, kind of, maybe, are they? Anyway, please click like if you enjoy this series, guys. I plan to keep going because basically every episode of this series is really dumb. Also, I just started an official Twitter account for this channel, Friggin' Boom Toys. Uh, there'll be a link in the description. Please go follow that to keep up with all my Power Rangers and nerdy cosplay and Pokemon stuff. Anyway, I've got to go now because something about power crystals. Beep, boop, beep.